happy weekend everybody as you can see i'm in the car i'm off thrifting today i'm so looking forward to it um i'm gonna do kind of i'm gonna try and film some of it when um uh when when i'm in the shops but i get always get a little bit um nervous like in case the shopkeepers think what is she doing and people are looking at you um so I, I will kind of ask people as well do they mind if i you know do filming as well um and i've yeah so anyway that that's my plan for today so out and about thrifting but i'm not gonna go mad and buy loads of bits i'm looking for specific bits for my home so um i want to revamp our front room area not so much the kitchen but the, the but our sitting area where we sit so i want to kind of revamp it um with a different style ish if that makes sense um and i'm looking for particular pieces that i can upcycle and add them to the decor so um i've told sean this is what i'm doing and um he just shook his head in like dismay <laughs> Uh, I get bored very easily, like a couple, a couple of years, and then I'll be like, well, yeah, I want to change that now, and I want to do this. I want, Yeah, I, I do that. But anyway, but I do everything on a budget, and normally comes out really nice. So anyway, I'm also going to, and I've never, ever been in there, a, um, is it called a reclaiming yard? Is it re... Um, oh, my God, what's that? A salvage yard or something like that, and we've got one local one. Um, and I've driven past it so many times. I'm just looking at the sign. What does it say? Reclaimed materials. And they've got so much stuff in there. Um, it's not massive, and I've never been in there, and I, I'm thinking, I really want to go in there. So I'm going to aim to do that as well. It's just across the street, so I'm going to go and have a little look in there. Anyway, kids, I'm going to um, park up, which I have. I'm going to go out, have a little mooch, see what it's about. And um, I'll catch up with you in a bit, in a bit, in a bit. I'll catch up in a bit, okay? Ciao. Well, I've had a lovely couple of days with Sean. So me and Sean over the weekend um, was really nice. We did, we don't normally, because of lockdown, obviously we haven't really been anywhere. So over the weekend, it was nice that we could actually go out, um, have some lunch sitting outside, um, did a bit of thrifting, um, which Sean's not interested in, but I dragged him along. And he just stood outside the shops while I was having it, while I was going through the little shops, the little thrift shops. So I thought I will share with you. Oh, and I also went to 2K Maxx. Um, but I did that on my own. Because I can't concentrate when I've got I've got Bruno, he's looking at itself in the mirror. <laughs> Funny little dog he is. Um, but I'll show you that mirror when we get to the 2K Maxx bit, right? Because that obviously came from 2K Maxx. So, we'll start off with my little thrift finds, and then um, we'll go on to the TK Maxx bits. So, thrifty, nifty, nifty thrifty first. So, in, um, in, the, in our little local 
or thrift shops or charity shops, whatever you want to call them. Um, sometimes they have boxes at the front and it's got like 50p an item and things like that. So I always like to have a little rummage. So I rummage through. Now ignore what they look like because we're not going to be using them as this. But these were 50p each, right? So they're just canvases. And I've got four of them. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them in a minute. Uh, yeah. So four of these, oh, they go that way, right? Like that. And two small ones. So I really wanted these for the actual canvas, not for the print. Is is I'm painting them, paint over these, and we'll do this together. Um, and I'm going to do like texture feel with some soft tones, creams, caramel, toffee, coffee colours, them, them types of colours, that's what I'm going for, soft tones with a bit of grey. And believe it or not, grey and cream or grey and cappuccino goes beautiful. You might think, grey, really? Well, believe me, it does. I've got a couple of things that's got grey and cream and it looks stunning it looks um quite expensive if, if if you like i think that's my opinion you might think nah it's horrible but that's what i like and it does go really nice so we're going to do the two big ones and then i'm going to do stagger them so they would be like two in the middle like this together and then one on either side but down a little bit like that so i'm going to have the four yeah so small two T sorry two large ones two small ones and I'm either going to put them above the television on this wall here or if I don't do them in that format or I could or, or on this wall here where this black and white picture is and if I don't do that format I'm going to do something on this wall here and I might do on that long wall there that way and they'll be staggered so I'll have two and then one, the smaller one either side, or a big one, a small one, a big one, a small one. You know, I don't know. I'll play around with that idea, but they will go that way instead of that way. So these were 50p each. So that's what I'm going to do with them. Um, I picked up a couple of uh, black wool. So I've been looking for navy and black um, because I'm going to do some bits and pieces with the wool. Um, and they were... 50, 50p each for, for a black wall, so I picked those up. They look like they're new. Take the notes of that one because I've took it apart. They are obviously new because they are still wrapped in the same pattern they was originally. So I know that they're new. So I've got two of those. I got this. Uh, it's like a ceramic. So it's a long, thin ceramic. I need a tube. It's like a tube. Um, and that is going to be painted, upcycled. That was 50p. So everything I've got here is 50p. Put that on there in a minute. And th things like these are going to be dotted around. I'm going to have some bits and pieces in here, in the bathroom, because I'm going to... The bathroom doesn't need decorating as such, but it needs a little bit more texture in there, if you like. So it's very plain. So I'm going to get some more bits like this. 50p. Um... I've got this little studded belt, right, for 50p. Now, obviously, I'm not going to... Look at my hair. I look like Tommy Cooper. <laughs> and you need a fizz. Honestly. So, um, yeah, so this, this was 50p. Oh, yeah, she originally had it for 250 Then she put it down to a pound, and then it went to 50p. I said, oh, I'll have that. And what I'm going to do with this, it's a little trick, is I'm going to cut some of the portion off because this bit down here is a bit tatty and we don't need the end bit. So I'm going to cut it, maybe not do it on this far, but I'm just showing you, right? We're going to glue it onto certain parts of the bars to give it added texture, then I'm going to spray it. So that's what I'm going to do with these little belts. So it gives you a 3D dimension, does that make sense? So your belt there for 50p. Yeah, I've probably got belts in my loft. You know, like sometimes you keep things you think, oh yeah, I might use that, I might use that, and you never do. Honestly, get your stuff out, go through it. I've always done this, even before I started doing YouTube. Um, 
kept bits and pieces because I think, right, I can do something that, I can do something that. Honestly, give it a go. Go through your stuff, go through your loft, your garage, your shed, whatever, and have a little rummage through and think to yourself, right, what can I do with that? And come up with an idea. If you want to send me pictures of a little upcycle, what you've done, don't matter how big it is, send them to me. I don't mind. I'm on Facebook, as you know, if it's Bobs and Bubbles. Send them me. Um, this little pot I got for 50p. Now I really like this and I like the colour. So I might not even spray it because I think this kind of, it's a bit like a teal, very pale teal, but I like the texture and I like this, the shape. And I'm looking for miniature pots like this for the bathrooms. So this I really like. All I've got to do is give it up a, a clean up, put it in the dishwasher or whatever. So that's a, a pretty little bath to go with. So when you've got little let's once this is sprayed and you've got three let's say i like things what come in threes rather than twos i like them in a three so i'll go like like a triangle so you go one two three so the texture of that's going to be different to that so it's going to have a really lovely element to it so yeah i always put things in threes and then the last thing i got from the thrift shop yeah which just some beads for 50p. Um, now, what I'm gonna do with these, and I've seen them on, um, you know when you look through magazines, I look through housekeeping, not housekeeping magazines, what are they called? House design types of magazines. You see pots and things like that, and they've got beads straight over them. So that's the kind of look I'm going for. So these were 50p. And I'm gonna take them apart so that I can use two sections. Then I'm gonna put a tassel on the end and then I'm gonna drape it round. So I'll have two lots there. So at 50p, it's like 25p a strand, if you like, to go with the decor. So that's why I've got those. Right, so that's my little thrifty bit. Then we went to, this is the only thing Sean picked out what he bought. So these are to go up the back in the summer house. Uh, probably not going to go on the outside bit because the outside area is my domain and the bar is Sean's domain. So these are going in the bar, not my bit. So we picked up a couple of little signs. <laughs> so this one, I don't know if you can see that. Funny. Um, and it's like got a rusty look. You might, might not be able to see if I stand up and show you a bit closer. It, oh, in case you can't see the print far away, there you go. Round here is like a rusty kind of look, so it looks old. So that's the look we like, so got one of those. That one, and then the other one, the other sign is this one. Oh, I did tell you how much it was. So this one was six ninety nine, and then I put tin, and this one was nine ninety nine. Um, and it's got the same kind of rusty look around the edging, but Sean just thought this was quite comical, and this is going in the bar as well. And you can see around the edging the kind of rusty look. But um, yes, so I hope no one takes offence because obviously we're not going to sell our grandchildren to the circus at all. <laughs> he just liked it, but it's funny. So that's going up there. So that was our little bits, um, thrift and a little boutique, um, which, we, which we popped into. Now, before I get on, oh no, sorry, and I bought these. I've got these down there as well, in the same shop, I think. Um, so because I'm going with these soft tones, in at the moment is pampas grass and dried flowers. It's really big, it's so popular at the moment. Um, and it's not, I don't follow trends, but I like the soft tones and the textures which, are, which I'm going for. As I say, I, I don't do trends. I do what I like, what I want to do. So I picked up these little mini pampas grass uh, for 5 99 and there's six stems in there. These little mini ones are going to go in the bathrooms. Um, I picked up another little dried bouquet. Now, I don't know if this is expensive or not. Um, I mean, years and years ago, that is what people had, dried flowers, things like this. And then it all went out of fashion and it's like, seems to be coming back in again. This bouquet was 12 99 
and you can see that. And then I got some grass, large bunch. Oh no, oh, you know what I mean. What's this stuff called? It says it on there, wheat. And this was six pounds for the wheat as well. Um, and I'm actually thinking of doing a wreath with dried flowers and a bit of campus grass. That's what I'm thinking of using this for. I may have to go and buy another bunch of this, um, but I'm thinking of doing something like that. But I may not put it up here. I may do it um, at the back, possibly. I don't know yet. So I've got those. So they was my bits. I'm just making sure down here that I've got nothing else. The rest was from Tico Max. Yeah, so. Going on to, oh, hang on a minute. Oh no, that's, yes, no, forget that. We'll come on to that in a second. We me TK Maxx, but I went in Hobbycraft as well. Um, but just quickly, in Aldi, I picked up, I've never seen it in there before, the wire I used at Christmas, the very, very thin um, wire, it was, it's only there at Christmas, it's not there, well, I haven't seen it in there since. Uh, 32 meters, I think, for a pound of the wire, the green wire, which I use all the time, especially when I'm tying up with garlands and reefs and things like that. And I noticed that in their garden section, they've got the same, so the same wire for 50 meters for 89p. So I just, I wanted to, I left that out so that I could just show you. So I just wanted to show, it is exactly the same, the same thickness, as the pound shop one, which I can't get in the pound shop. So that is brilliant. So, and, and they literally had this one. I just picked it up because it was the last one. They'd had a couple, I would have got them. So, I mean, it could go back up again. Right, so there we are with that. Now, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going, we'll get into the TK Maxx bit and we'll, I'll show you the mirror because that's from TK Maxx as well. So, or should we do hobby craft first? Quick, let's just do quickly hobby craft. So, from, in hobby craft, um, I was looking for some wool again, some nice thick wool for tassels. Um, I've got a couple of throws which I'm going to put up the back, but I want to put tassels on them, and I wanted nice thick um, wool to go on there. So, this yarn is um, called their Super Chunky, it's 200 grams. I believe it was three. 50 possibly, possibly, and it's a really nice soft, like, um, cappuccino colour. So that's for me tassels. Um, where did I get them from? Did I get them in? No, TK Maxx. Um, a minute, TK Maxx. I picked up some dowels. I've got two dowels, I think I believe they was about a pound. Um, because I'm doing some macrame, which I've never done before. But again, it's that texture and that look what I'm going for. So I'm going to do some macrame bits. Not a lot. I just want to test it. So I've got some cord as well to do that. So I've got two dowels to go to go with that. So just to try it. Um, I picked up a... I don't even know what this is called. Um, I'll show you. Hang on a second. One of these things. It's like a... It, to me, it's like a big knitting needle. <laughs> a big, th is it a crochet needle? And the reason I've got that is for when I do the tassels on the blankets, because it's that um, thick, I don't know what you call it, chunky look, I can thread it through and pull it back out. Does that make sense? So I picked up one of them. I think that was about a pound. Please let me know what it is. Um, did I say the right word? Is it a crochet hook? Any anyhow. Oh, I just picked up some glue. Um, I was looking for fabric glue, actually, and I couldn't find it, but this apparently does the same as fabric glue. All-purpose um, fabric, ceramics, rustic glue. Um, I picked up some cord in there. I wanted some black, black cord, um, which, when it comes to the DIY project, we'll be using this. I'll show you that. And I bought some of this as well, this twine, which is a bit like bit kind of plaited um, and it's got that I can't I don't know the name what the smell is but I don't know it might reminds me of like horses <laughs> if that if that makes sense so I've got some of this I'll show you a bit closer and as you can see I don't know if you can see that 
it's like plaited. Just reminds me of that smell of like horsey smell. Um, and I picked up, oh, I love this colour. This is like, I don't know whether I'd say mushroom colour ribbon. Really nice. Now that's a pound for 15 metres. And then the last thing I bought was some burlap ribbon, um, which I want, which is going to be for our DIY projects. So I'm going to show, I don't, don't know the mesh. Oh, it's six centimetres wide. Jute roll, it's jute roll. Um, and the, I'll quickly tell you what I'm going to do with this. I am doing it. So the idea is I'm going to be using these little, the little pots for a bit of added texture after I've sprayed and painted them. Is, is kind of put it like that, right? So you, so you get the idea of what I'm doing with that. So I picked up a bit of that. Um, and basically, that was it for those bits. Now, I'm just looking around to make sure. Now, we'll quickly go on to the TK, <clears throat> my bloody voice is going today. We'll go on to the TK Maxx bits. I'm just making sure I've covered it, all the, all the thrifty bits, all the cheap bits. And then we'll go on to that. So, I'm gonna quickly give myself a drink because my throat's really dry. That's because I'm chatting so much. So I'm gonna get that and then I'll be back and then we'll carry on, all right? So just bear with me a moment. Right, guys. <clears throat> so let's get on to move the camera a bit because this is quite heavy, this mirror. Now I've been looking for an outdoor mirror to go up the back. Um, and they're not, they're, not, they're not cheap, you know, to get some really nice ones, they're quite expensive. But I happen to spot this, it's the only one in TK Maxx. It is quite heavy and it is quite big. I'll try and, if I hold it up a little bit, you can see how big it is. I mean, that's, you know, I don't know, I'm probably five foot five, so you can see how big it is and, and how wide it is. It is like a metal, um, it's not wood. I'm gonna stand it back here. Oh. Um, and it's like a distressed kind of look. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I just thought, yes, I really like that. Now that was 59.99 and I actually thought that was a good price. You might say different. I personally thought it was a good price. I've seen some smaller ones for the same price, but not as big as this for that price. They only had one and there was someone else looking at it as well. And I just thought, oh, I've got to have that. I've got to have that. Um, so I grabbed it. <laughs> Luckily, the other people didn't want it anyway, they walked away. So as soon as they walked away, I went and got it. Um, so I was ch really chuffed with that. So, um, but, but I just like it so much, and because I'm going with these colours, I'm, I'm thinking, should I bring it into the front room and maybe have it on one of the walls where I don't do the canvas prints. So if I don't have, let's say if I put the, the canvas, is what I'm gonna do here, put that mirror here I don't know but it's an outdoor mirror and you know I think I think I'm gonna put it up the back but it's such a nice mirror so there's my my mirror now a couple of other big things up oh I bought another mirror as well I'm in it I'm just here the other mirror I bought <coughs> was this now okay it's just a plain mirror I know that but I liked the fact that it's on a rope um, and it's a deep setting mirror. Now you could use it as a tray if you wanted to, but I'm not because I've already got a tray like this. And the idea is when I spotted this, I thought, hmm, something came to mind. I'll show you in a second. But I, I liked the look. When it was hanging up, I really liked the look of it hanging on the rope. Do you know what it reminds me of? A little bit like a porthole with a rope on it. But anyway, it was 19.99. It's quite heavy. As you can see, I face it this way so you can see, otherwise the light is um, reflecting against it. Um, and it's got a nice thick rope on it. Now, this is another idea of mine. So, again, back in this room again, is I need something on this wall as well. But I don't want to overpower with too much. So the idea I was thinking is maybe having these hooked. So I have obviously one here, and then I've got another similar one like this, which is actually a tray, um, but putting that, so I'll have two. Something like that, because I feel this also needs something here. 
So I'm going to play around with that, but this will definitely, probably, I'm saying definitely, but it'll probably go, go here with, with the other one. But I'm, again, I'm going to play around with it, but I just, I just like the look of it. So that's a really nice mirror. I'm going to put this over here a second. They're the other couple of bits I've got. So where I'm looking for something to go here, I feel I need something in the space here, right? So let's, if I move this out of the way, I know, all right? I feel that this little bit here, from here to here, let's move this one again, because you can see it, and it's putting me off a bit. Wait a minute. So here is a bit of an empty space, all right? Nothing there at all. Obviously, you can see that. Um, and I feel I need something there. So what I was thinking is, bear with me on this one, I bought these two pots, they only had two of them. This large one, it's not too heavy, it was, it was 19.99. Look at that, the texture of it, it's like stone, and it is, oh, it is like a stone. So it's nice and big. If they had a couple of them, that size, the big size, I would have had them outside, but they didn't. They had a small one and the large one. Now I'm wondering, I don't know, bear with me. This one was $7.99, so well cheap. But again, it, you know, exactly the same, and it is an outdoor pot, so it's got a hole at the bottom. But the idea was, a minute, I need to move the mat up a bit is, now I don't know if you can see this, let me just do that, I'm bound to trip over, and I'm just going to shift the camera back a little bit so you can see, and again, I don't know if I'm going to do this, I'm literally playing around with ideas, and standing it on there, but the only problem is, it's not, what I probably would have to do, that's not too bad, is put like a something on like like a piece of wood or something underneath and a round bit of wood, like a wood round underneath it to keep it on the top there and have it, as you can see there, in the corner so it looks like a great big pot, one big pot and actually I really like that look and then have your pampas grass is in there. So I've got some pampas grass um, from my cousin. And if anybody wants pampas grass, he's got a shop in Strood. Um, and his name's Frankie Davison. He's on Facebook as well. And he does loads of different pampas grass. Outdoor plants, indoor plants. Really, really nice. I'm not just saying because he is my family, but he generally does nice stuff. Um, anyway, so I've got the pampas grass from him. And if I just put a few bits in there for a second, just to show you what it what it could potentially look like. Hang on a minute. Let's try that now. Let's just get some of that. Unfortunately, I don't know what his prices are for the pampas grass, so I can't I can't tell you. But if you were looking for pampas grass, um, I mean, obviously, I mean, it, it wouldn't look like that. I would do it properly. But just to show you the idea of having something on this scale, because obviously this is a quite big and this is a large area. But we're, when I say large area, it's not a large area as... How can I put this? Let me think. It's a, a nice big space with nothing in it. So... Oh, who's coming in? Wait a minute, someone's coming in. Oh, I'm just doing it, I'm just doing this again. Oh, they've gone out. So, as you can see, it becomes a nice, you can, you can utilise this and put something really nice and big here in this space. So if you've got a space like this, something on this scale would be absolutely fine. So, you know, I can play around with this um, and add other textures in this and sticks and things like that. So. You know, keep that idea as a thought, all right? Now, I'm just going to see what my daughter wants, and I'll be back in a second. Um, 
Right, we did that. So I've got a couple. Oh, you can't see me still on my pier. <laughs> Let's see if I can do I definitely need to get one of those um, cameras with a little, not camera, oh, little handle. But I want a long one so that I can go like that. So I've got to keep coming like this forward. Anyway, so, right, I've just got a couple more bits to show you. Well, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's probably about 10 things actually, but they're little things. So the other thing I picked up in TK Maxx was a Buddha's head, and I really like these. Um, it tells you a little bit information on here about the local um, artisans handcrafts and blah 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 um, this is 4 dollars I'm not going to be painting this one because I actually like the colour but I just thought hang on let me step over these bits that was quite cute they did have two but <sighs> I could have bought two but I just didn't need two if that makes sense um, but I just yeah I really like that a little string bit on it and obviously it's come off but yeah i really like that so that's cute so let's just put him over here a minute or she he or she um a couple of little crafty bits i bought stencil brush set and that was 4.99 for the stencil brush set um i got this little palette and knife set so that when i do those canvases with the texture that the, um, like the poly filler or the um, speckle, what I'm going to use, um, I'm going to do it with little spatulas to, to make a texture. And it comes on a little palette as well so that you can mix colours in there as well. And that was $3.99. So those. Um, I got um, a bottle of booze, as you do, because they actually do really nice booze in there, believe it or not. This is a Tiger Gin Fusion. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm not a gin drinker. So my hair, I can still see my hair all over the place. I'm not a gin drinker. Um, however, I don't mind it in a cocktail, but I don't like, let's say, pink gin and tonic or pink gin and lemonade or gin and tonic. I just don't do that type of gin, if you like. But in a cocktail, I don't mind it. So this one is a gin infusion. It's got lime, lemongrass, and ginger. It does save for cocktails and spritzers. It's a 20% volume, so it's, you know, quite a good one, or quite a strong one, I should say. Um, not that I know anything about volume and stuff like that. It was 7 dollars And I, I like the bottle as well. Look at that with the butterfly on the front. I think that's really nice. So that's gonna go up in the bar. And then I bought a mixer. Um, in there as well. Um, this one is for things like um, pita colada, let's say, or you're doing a nice rum, rum coconut punch. Um, this is a uh, sugar-free Coco Loco mix. And that one is $3.99. So that would be nice with rum, definitely. It might give you a, um, uh, sometimes they put like a recipe on the back of their bottles. So this one says, mix one unit of the Coco Loco mix with three units of ice in a glass and add your favorite rum, tequila, vodka. I'd probably use rum, white rum, not Bacardi, uh, actual rum, um, garnish with lime, lemon, sliced fresh, piece of fruit of your choice. So got one of those to go at the back for when the summer starts coming to make some nice cocktails. And I got this because the amount of times when you do a barbecue, there's always one person who says, have you got any hot sauce? What's the hottest sauce you've got? You know, like Tabasco. Um, I don't do spice at all. And so I thought, okay, then I'm just going to get one of these. This is a hot sauce, hot sauce with marinade, 100% natural, piri piri, habanero, very hot sauce. And it was one ninety nine. Um, I know Aldi have got a similar, a similar one in there for like like a pound or whatever it was. Um, and there's, as I say, there's always one person and you've never got it. So I thought, well, I'm just going to get one of them. So I've got that. Okay, going on to um, a couple of other bits I've got. Now I've got a couple of new bath mats um, because when I go and do the bathrooms as well, again, I'm not not doing like a whole 
decorating the bathroom thing. It is literally getting out the old accessories, what we've had in there, um, and just adding some new accessory bits in there. So I've bought some new, wait a minute, bath mats. One for each bathroom. Oh, there's no one there, it's me. Um, this one I got, which is 50 by 80 centimetres was 7 I like the tech, I just like the look on that and it's quite soft. But I like the tapestry kind of look. You know what I mean? So that one. And then in the other bathroom, um, this is 100% polyester, 30. 50 by 80 again, and this was also 7 This This one here is a softer one than that one. And this one has got the plastic backing and the other one hasn't. The other one's just got its natural, its natural backing. Um, but I quite liked those. I thought they were quite nice. Um, so they're going to go in the bathrooms upstairs. It's that kind of look again. I'm going for the cappuccino, cream, tops, those kinds of colours. Um, I bought two new little hand towels for each. Oh my God, I've just realised. I should have bought three. Anyway, um, one for down here and I'll have to go back and get a couple more. Um, and upstairs and these are just little hand towels uh, creamy color there and obviously white nice and soft and they were 7 99 from a spa collection there you go so I've got a couple of those <clears throat> and then the last two things I've got so I'm just making sure I missed anything was just a couple of bits of clothing look at me here every time I look at it look at it what do I look like oh <gasps> That's terrible. Anyway, it's only me in here. Um, these was in their beachwear section and I like, this is me all over. I love things like this, like hippie kind of um, boho look, if you like. I just love stuff like this. And I got, this was 19.99. Shall I just quickly chuck it on, even though I've got a t-shirt underneath me? Wait a minute, I need to try it on. In there. Oh. Forget the t-shirt. Underneath. Oh, I could look in the mirror now. Oh, wait a minute, what have I done? I'm done. Oh, I can, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay, right, I've got a sleeve. Look, I've got one arm in the sleeve and one. <laughs> oh, God. Wait a minute. Right, let's start again. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, okay. Right, wait a minute. Let me have a look then. Oh yeah, so I see, okay. Oh, I really like that. I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I like that. It's nice and it's got cut out shoulders. What's that, Bruce? It's got cut out shoulders here, like that. It's a little low neck there. It's got all little beads all over it. But I mean, you could even put this over, over costume. To... I've got cotton pampers, gloves, get off. Um, you know, over a costume, bikinis, walk down the beach because it actually does cover everything up. Or, you know, have it as a little dress in the sun. No, I couldn't have it as a dress because it's too short up the side. All my, all my bum cheeks would be hanging out. That'd be nice. Um, or with a little pair of denim shorts or a little skirt. Um, yeah, I like that. Jeans. Yeah, that's cash. That's right up my street. Like that for 19.99. I often find. If you walk around where they do their um, costume section, that you find nice little pieces like this where you don't find on the normal racks the, or the other racks. So always, or even if you're not looking for costumes, go and have a look in the beachwear section. If you like things like this, this is where you're gonna find them in that section. Um, the make, I've obviously never heard of it, is that. Um, it's one size and it was 19.99 and it's got all little tiny all little beads all around it as well very pretty and then the other little beach dress I got when I'm going to get to a beach god only knows but anyway I can hope uh, this was 14.99 it's a size small um, by this make and <clears throat> this is like a little mini dress. Um, it's got a V-neck 
a little strap across the top. It's elasticated around there, so that's nice, which I like. Um, so obviously it just comes underneath your bust. And then you've got the little, little skirt as well. I'll stand back a bit. He's looking at yourself in the mirror again, this dog. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah. So that was quite cute. And look, these colours are the colours I'm going for in here. Isn't that funny? Um, it's that, it is that look what I like. The tassels, the colours. Uh, is this like a, like a cheesecloth? Do you remember cheesecloth? Anyway, that is my haul for this week. Um, I'm just checking to make sure I've got no other bits. No. But I've got, because I've been to a boot fair um, on Sunday, I will be doing that video as well this week as well. Um, and I've got some, didn't get a lot, actually, I can count how much I've got, one, two, three, maybe ten things, and I'll probably only spend ten quid, maybe less than that, so I'll show you what I've got, but these are all bits to upcycle for in my house, so that's coming soon, probably this week, anyway, see you soon, take care, and have a nice week, bye all.